Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Friday, March 4th, and we are gathered together in the name of the Blessed and Holy Trinity. Amen. Our song for this morning is I Want Jesus to Walk With Me. It'll be the final verse. That's verse 3, and this is hymn number 325. When I'm in trouble, Lord, walk with me. When I'm in trouble, Lord, walk with me. When my head is bowed in sorrow, Lord, I want Jesus to walk with me. Our quote for this morning comes from Virginia Ramey Mallincutt. It is my prayer that all of us will eventually learn to recognize and revere the image of God in every person, of every conceivable gender identity, along with the other many diversities of appearances, belief systems, preferences, and whatsoever differences may occur to us. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2, and then jumping ahead to verses 9 through 16. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the Most High your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For God will command the angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Those who love me I will deliver. I will protect those who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. Our Old Testament reading comes from Exodus chapter 6, verses 1 through 13. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you shall see what I will do to Pharaoh. Indeed, by a mighty hand he will let them go. By a mighty hand he will drive them out of his land. God also spoke to Moses and said to him, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as God Almighty, but my name is the Lord. I did not make my name the Lord. I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them and gave them the land of Canaan, the land in which they resided as aliens. I have also heard the groaning of the Israelites whom the Egyptians are holding as slaves, and I have remembered my covenant. Say therefore to the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will free you from the burdens of the Egyptians and deliver you from slavery to them. I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with mighty acts of judgment. I will take you as my people, and I will be your God. You shall know that I am the Lord your God, who has freed you from the burdens of the Egyptians. I will bring you into the land that I swore to give to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and I will give it to you for a possession. I am the Lord." Moses told this to the Israelites, but they would not listen to Moses because of their broken spirit and their cruel slavery. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Go and tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let the Israelites go out of his land. But Moses spoke to the Lord, The Israelites have not listened to me. How then shall Pharaoh listen to me, poor speaker that I am? Thus the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron and gave them orders regarding the Israelites and Pharaoh king of Egypt, charging them to free the Israelites from the land of Egypt. Our New Testament reading comes from the book of Acts chapter 7 verses 35 through 42. It was this Moses whom they rejected when they said, Who made you a ruler and a judge? and whom God now sent as both ruler and liberator through the angel who appeared to him in the bush. He led them out, having performed wonders and signs in Egypt, at the Red Sea, and in the wilderness for forty years. This is the Moses who said to the Israelites, God will raise up a prophet for you from your own people, as he raised me up. He is the one who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him on Mount Sinai, 
and with our ancestors, and he received living oracles to give to us. Our ancestors were unwilling to obey him. Instead, they pushed him aside, and in their hearts they turned back to Egypt, saying to Aaron, Make gods for us who will lead the way for us. As for this Moses who led us out from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. At that time, they made a calf, offered a sacrifice to the idol, and reveled in the works of their hands. But God turned away from them and handed them over to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, Did you offer to me slain victims and sacrifices forty years in the wilderness, O house of Israel? Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.